Hi, I thought I'd use a video update uh, to keep you informed of things. I'm not sure how many times I'll be doing this, but hopefully it'll help. And uh, most of this is covered somewhere <clears throat> in Blackboard. But anyway, first of all, I wanted to um, encourage you to uh, check your email every day, read it, and if you need to contact me with any questions, feel free to email me. I'll try to be following my email every day. And also, um, be sure to watch the videos that go along with um, the uh, course. And I've already created a video for you called um, How to Incorporate uh, This Material, IME 4030, into your senior project. Now, it applies definitely to the industrial and manufacturing engineering majors, but it may apply to you if you're from another major as well. But if you're an IME major, you need to watch this 19-minute video. My motivation for that is <clears throat> that last semester, a manufacturing engineering major uh, approached me uh, near the end of the course. He was working on a senior project, and he said, now, Dr. Rosencrantz, when are we going to ever use this material? And I kind of went into shock, but when I came out of it, I explained it to him that he needed to use it on his senior project. And I told him how. And so, anyway, I thought I would repeat part of what I said into this video. So, it's uh, now a YouTube, and it's on the IME 4030 playlist. Uh, near the end of the videos. So anyway, uh, we're in kind of a odd situation here with the virus. Um, it's unprecedented as far as um, anything I've ever been through with respect to education. I've been through some other things, but nothing like this. So it's new to everybody. But in reflecting on it, I think that uh, some of us are not affected tremendously, but some people are affected a lot because of their particular situation, whether it's where they live or where they work, whether or not they still have an income. And so I realize that there are a lot of different situations. So do your best uh, to try to adapt, but also, don't be afraid to reach out to friends, neighbors, relatives, the university, your professors, um, to see if, if there's anything can, that could be done to um, help you along. But for some of you, I think it's going to mean a big change in how you study and how you cope with your education. And when you talk about putting materials online or e-learning or remote, it really puts a big burden on you to do a lot more reading. You have to read instructions. You have to read your textbook. You have to um, make sure that you're following instructions. And some people, that's their weak point. Well, if that's you, then this is the time of your life where you're going to have to step up and you're going to have to maybe change uh, the way you operate. So I want to encourage you to not hesitate in getting started doing that. So that's what my note here partly means is um, you're going to have to stay on top of things because people won't be there reminding you verbally um, all during the week in your classes. So anyway, uh, for some of you, it's actually going to help you to start doing that. All right, let me move along. Um, uh, in the last announcement that I sent, there was an item talking about team member evaluations. And some of you have already completed this online survey. And um, so um, you can go into the surveys and quizzes section. I put it there just a little while ago. And it's also in that one announcement. But I extended the deadline uh, to Saturday, 
that's uh, tomorrow, 3-21-20, um, before midnight. So 11.59 p.m. And by the way, um, 3-21, March 21st, is uh, World Down Syndrome Day, referring to trisomy 21, meaning that a person with Down syndrome has three 21st chromosomes. So anyway, um, just pointing that out. So moving on, um, quizzes number four and number five are in your schedule. And we're going to go ahead and hold them on those days. If those are Mondays, of course. And so plan on being online at 5.30. Um, I may or may not um, have a Zoom meeting on those days, too. Um, probably will. But anyway, make sure that you have 5.30 on your schedule uh, ready on those two days that these meetings are scheduled. Then also, I'm going to try to have a Zoom office hour on Monday at 5.30, from 5.30 to 6.30. It's our first hour that we're scheduled for class, but if we were meeting, but we're not meeting. But anyway, it's, it's optional, and so if you have any questions, we could try and handle it there. I've sent you an announcement with the Zoom uh, meeting uh, URL in it, but it's right here if you want to write it down. But anyway, um, we'll try that. And if nobody shows up, probably just won't bother with the Zoom office hours anymore. Maybe try it again later. But um, make sure that uh, if you have any questions, either try to drop in or you can always email me. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that and uh, turn this into a YouTube video and stick it up uh, somewhere um, for you to access. Good luck with everything. Bye.